Thank you, Professor Keenan. Uh, so first and foremost, um, I wanted to express my sincere thanks to the Brain Foundation and its donors for this very generous gift. Uh, as I think has already been mentioned this evening, as uh, early career researchers, it can be very challenging to uh, embark on our own research programs uh, without some help to get out of the starting blocks. Uh, so that is the, the great thing about schemes uh, such as this. Uh, so I'm very grateful and very um, honoured uh, to have the support of the Brain Foundation in this project. So the, this research is going to be looking at uh, a very common and very debilitating symptom in Parkinson's disease, and that is cognitive fatigue. So I think all of us here know what fatigue is. We all know what it feels like. Perhaps you might be experiencing it now. Um, <laughs> But in patients, in particular those with Parkinson's disease, it is um, especially debilitating. Uh, up to half of patients with Parkinson's disease report it to be a major problem, uh, and it can lead to profound disruption to daily living, so much so that in a recent survey, patients themselves voted fatigue to be the leading symptom in need of further research. Yet despite its prevalence and its impact, um, we know relatively little about it. It's relatively ill-defined and poorly understood, in large part because it's just really difficult to measure. Uh, and it can also be very easily confused with other symptoms and conditions which might coexist in Parkinson's, for example, depression. So in this research that I'll be embarking on, I aim to dissect out different components of fatigue using several tools that have, developed, have been developed in the cognitive neurosciences. So specifically, functional brain imaging, computational modeling, and tools in decision neuroscience with the aim of um, objectively assessing fatigue in Parkinson's disease and being able to monitor its course um, over the course of the disease. And through this, what we hope to do is define the pathophysiological mechanisms, the, the neural pathways um, that are disrupted in Parkinson's that lead to this very common symptom. But of course, as um, I think everyone here knows, fatigue is hardly uh, unique to Parkinson's disease. We see it in, uh, across the whole breadth of neurological disease, in particular stroke, uh, multiple sclerosis, traumatic brain injury. So what I would hope is, as the result of this research, we might be able to then launch a broader investigation um, of fatigue in, uh, in these multiple neurological populations. And perhaps then by having a more objective means to assess fatigue, and by having a better understanding of its underlying neurobiology, we might then be able to, um, or at least be in a better position, to develop new treatments that might be able to manage this very common and debilitating symptom.